Hi beauties, welcome back. Today, it is our BoxyCharm unboxing. And this is for the month of December, 2020. December is a Lux month and we are Lux subscribers. So um, that means I believe it's supposed to be like at least a $300 value box, something like that. You get like eight full size products, I think, instead of five. I don't remember the rules. It's been a long time that I've been signed up for this though. But I always like the Lux months. I felt like BoxyCharm has been very strong this year. A lot of people have said that they have not been satisfied with it, but I have actually been really, really happy with every box besides like one or two that I got. Unfortunately, I know one of the worst boxes we got was the Lux. It was like the February Lux or something like that. So I have hopes, but we'll see. Um, I know my choices I wasn't thrilled about, but like I know I got like a teeth whitener and like maybe like an eyeshadow crayon set or something like that, but whatever. It's in the box. Let's just look. Like, let's let me just open it up and I can tell you. Oh, uh, what's in the box? Theme, that's the word I was looking for, is bubbles and glitz. And uh, I really like that. I love that for the end of the year. And the first thing I see is actually something that I already own. Not a bad thing though, uh, because I can either save it for a giveaway or I can give it to my mother, one of the two. But I love the palette. So it's actually a great product. It's just, I just have a huge collection. And so I already happen to own this, but this is the Hip Dot C Note palette. And it has so many gorgeous blues and yellows and oranges in it. And I really just, it's like got a lot of neutrals, but then it's got like this lovely, beautiful blue section as well. So, and I love Hip Dot. Hip Dot is, is one of those brands that like just every product I use from them is great. Um, so unfortunate that I just happened to already own it, but like great product nonetheless. So that's the first thing that I see in here. The next thing that I see, I'm very excited about because I love Luxie as a brand. This looks like a very nice little brush set. It comes with a beautiful little case. So these brushes are like, they're just giving me like mad, like Christmas time vibes. Nice set. You get, it looks like eight brushes, three face brushes, and then uh, five eyeshadow brushes. I love the case. And if you guys are uh, regular viewers, you know that I've recent, recently, within the past year, found like a deep affinity towards having brushes uh, that I can use as backup so that when my brushes are dirty, I don't have to wash them because I'm too damn lazy. So I'm very excited about that. That's a really, really good product. Ooh, this is another good one. Um, so this is the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment from Sunday Riley. I love Sunday Riley. They're pricey products and I pretty much love anything that has lactic acid in it. And it's kind of interesting because it's lactic acid and look, it's lactic acid and licorice root. I don't know what licorice root does, but it's supposed to give you high potency purified grade lactic acid that exfoliates dull, pore clogging dead skin, instantly clarify and reveal smoother, clearer skin. I like all those words. So yeah, um, I'm yeah, I'm excited about this. This is a good product in my opinion. And I, like I said, that's probably like, you're probably looking at like a 70, $80 product there because I know Sunday Riley is a little pricier. What else we got? All right, so this is one of the things I chose. Uh, I chose it because there was nothing else that I really wanted to choose, uh, but it's a teeth whitening kit. Uh, I'm a little afraid of them. I don't know how teeth whiteners work. Um, and I always worry that they're gonna somehow like make my teeth just dissolve out of my head. Um, but that might just be paranoia. So I'll, I'll try it. I may love it. I may hate it. I, it, my teeth may fall out of my head, but we'll, you know what? We'll see. We'll go on that journey together. Yeah. But that was kind of one of those things where it was like, I had to choose two and I really did, I didn't like anything besides like the one that I originally chose. I was like, all right, whatever. I'll get that. Um, and then the one that I chose, uh, initially was actually this little trio set. It is from Rockins Cosmetics and these are hot mess, uh, liquid eyeshadows. And uh, I'm all about them. I love them. I just think they're so cool. Uh, not liquid eyeshadows, crayon eyeshadows. I just think it's so, I love, I love liquid eyeshadows, crayon eyeshadows, everything like that. Um, I think they're really, really neat. And you got a black, a green and a blue. So I was like, all right, I don't, I don't really wear dark shades like that very often, but I'll make it work. And I like them. They're big, they're nice sized. Yeah, I'm jazzed. I like it. I'm into it. Next thing I have is the um, Avant Glycolic uh, Intensive Redefining Glycolic Acid Day Moisturizer. Avant, I know I've used before, but I can't remember in what. Like I can't remember if I have like a cleanser or a face cream or whatever, but glycolic acid is another product that I like to have in my regimen. So I think that a nice moisturizer uh, like this is very nice. And I think it'll work nicely with that Sunday Riley as well. Ooh, looks like we got one more skincare thing, perhaps. It's all bundled up, so I can't really see. Okay, so I actually think this is like an essential oil roller ball. And I love that. It is a calming temple rub. Yes, so I'm assuming these are just like essential oils that are meant to soothe and to calm and you rub it. 
it says on your temples like up here i normally when i do it i normally either rub it on my wrist so i can smell it or i rub it behind my ears um because i don't like my face being sticky and also normally i'm wearing like makeup so but yeah i love that that's a cool product and that's not anything we've really seen in boxy before so um i'm i'm excited to test that out the last thing i have is from iconic london and oh, it's a really pretty face palette really really gorgeous a lot of workable shades, beautiful like matte bronzer. You've got kind of like a shimmery bronzer as well. Um, and then these two, which uh, I would I would classify them as highlighters and then two blushes as well. So really pretty. I like this box. It's not my favorite plus, I mean, a Lux. Um, we definitely have seen the last Lux we got was incredible. It was phenomenal. That being said, well worth the money, um, which I don't think I mentioned. It, your normal subscription, I think is like $25. And then this is another 25 on top of it. So it's like a $50 box. Um, but it's well worth it. The skincare alone, amazing. Um, and I love the two palettes I got. I love the brushes. The teeth whiteners, what, it's kind of like a nice bonus. Like I'll try it. It may not be my favorite product, but it's a cool thing. So Nikki is patiently waiting for me to, to do the rundown of the, the price list. So let us see how much this retails for. First thing we have is our Iconic London Blaze Chaser Face Palette. That is a $55 value. I'm really good at, I've gotten really good at classifying skincare prices. Our Sunday Riley is $85. The Hip Dot C Note Palette is $30. The Luxie Glitter and Gold Brush Set is $85. Damn. Butte Teeth Whitening Kit is $89. Man, I was I was muscling through those high ass prices really really well, and then I got to this little fucking bad boy. G guess guess how much this is? A hundred and twenty three dollars. So I didn't realize when I was touching this, I was like touching the fountain of youth. But here we are. I'm gonna have to keep it in like a security case. Like an alarm is gonna go off if anybody like goes to touch. It. It's not hand cream, Nikki. Don't touch it. The Rockins Cosmetic Trio, uh, Eye Crayon Trio is $40. And the Calming Temple Rub, I was hoping it said what it had in it. It does not say that though. It, ha it is $24. So that is a total of $531. I definitely think it is a great box. That being said, I do think that some of the uh, prices are a little wild. I always tell you guys, like I would never spend 80 to $130 on a piece of skincare. Doesn't matter. Like, unless it's like really good, unless it's gonna re just completely change my face. Like if they're like, oh yeah, you'd put this on your face and you're gonna be a different human. Maybe I would consider it. I don't know if I quite have that much self-hatred, but like maybe. But anyway, I do enjoy getting them in subscription boxes cause I know I will never spend that on it, but it is nice to see like those crazy inflated prices and being like, oh, what a value I got. Um, and Nikki, <laughs> as we were starting the camera back up, he was like, we just filmed our FabFitFun. He was like, this is like double what your FabFitFun was. And honestly, I was very satisfied with my FabFitFun and I'm not sure that I like this better than that. So it's very interesting. Um, obviously this is more makeup centric, but yeah, wild. Good box though. I'm not at all discrediting it. I really like what we got. I really think that there's more than enough to do a full face with it. Yeah, and I had seen the, the C note on their Instagram. I saw that that was one of the options. And I was like, I'll probably get it. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. I'll, I'll probably see if my mom wants it just cause it's like Christmas time. And then if not, I'll, I'll save it for a giveaway whenever COVID ends and I feel like shipping stuff out again. But yeah, uh, yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys um, are Lux members. If you're not, I would love to know what you got in your standard box. Cause I'm always like, there's always like a little sadness when I do the Lux and I, I miss out some of the good stuff that's in the standard box. Um, and overall how you guys felt about Boxy Charm this year. So yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.